soil is a living entity, a handful of soil has uh, five to seven billion organisms in it. We have to keep it alive for it to, uh, you know, make all the life. Every life that you see, whether it's a plant, tree, animal, bird, uh, you and me, all of us are from the soil. You from know? The soil. That's that's so true. That's where we get the the hood from. You know, you're so you're so right about that. You know, that's so true. everything. Just so the everything. soil is a major part of us. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing we've got from somewhere else, everything is from this earth. We are asking everybody, people who have any kind of following, to for one hundred days just to talk about soil and the significance of soil. That would be sad, like a, a great thing to spread around. Who's your favorite player? Right now? You're taking… it should, you should, you should be like, it's Chris Gale. Namaskaram, good morning to you. Uh, pleasant morning to you as well, you know. Wonderful. It's a pleasure morning. to meet you virtually. So, Chris, uh, this this moment, uh, I think you've heard about it already, probably you've seen the video. And yes, I have. Essentially, see, this is something that's been so neglected. For example, I met uh, many of the environment ministers from various countries after the COP26, and they're telling me one week they were in Glasgow in this international meet, and they did not hear the word soil. Unfortunately, all the climate change uh, initiatives or uh, the whole movement is being driven by activists who only want to knock the industry because it spills money. But <laughs> nobody wants to attend to the real problem where nearly yeah. 36 to 40 percent of the global warming is happening because of bad agricultural practices. Very easily this can be turned around and it will be very beneficial for the farmer. We changed the river policy in uh, India in 2017 through a rally called Rally for Rivers. And now we are active in one particular river basin called Kaveri River Basin. You've been in Bangalore, so, you know... It's yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, one yeah. of my favorite city, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm from Mysore. I don't know if you've been to Mysore. No, I've never been to Mysore, no. Mysore is, a, Mysore is a close by city to Bangalore. It's a cultural city, very close uh, to Bangalore. Okay. No, no, I've never been there and yeah. I love Bangalore so much, you know, that's <laughs> one of my second home, <laughs> pretty much. I'm from that state, uh, Karnataka. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know Karnataka, I know Karnataka, yeah. I know yeah. so, Anil, Anil, Anil Kumble and Rahul Javid, yes, those yes. guys, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but about your initiative, um, you know, yeah. um, it's, it's, On it's, the a, ground, it's a great uh, gesture. This is covering, uh, you know, like 83,000 square kilometers of land and 5.2 million farmers in this region. The goal is to plant uh, about uh, 2.42 billion trees in the next 12 years' time. That is going on wonderfully well. Right now, uh, about 125,000 farmers have been benefiting from this. We've converted them into a certain soil regenerative practices, including tree-based agriculture. Their incomes have all gone up anywhere between 300 to 800 percent in a matter of five to seven years. So this is a, essentially an economic plan which will have significant ecological impact. And uh, every responsible scientist in the world is pointing out that by 2045, we will be producing 40 percent less food and our population will be 9.2 billion. That's not a world in which anybody wants to live, nor do we want yeah, to leave yeah. our children in that kind of world. And uh, UN uh, agencies are predicting by 2035, there will be a massive number of civil wars, especially in African nations and other uh, third world countries because of food shortages. This will begin to happen from 2035. There are many measures they are taking right now, but uh, this is not considering that we can turn the soil around. All we are asking for is, is very simple. Agricultural soil should have three to six percent organic content so that soil is alive. Soil is a living entity. A handful of soil has uh, five to seven billion organisms in it. We have to keep it alive for it to, uh, you know, make all the life. Every life that you mm -hmm. see, whether it's a plant, tree, animal, bird, uh, you and me, all of us are from the soil. Everything that we hold, including your cricket bat, is from the soil. From the soil. That's, that's so true. That's where we get the, the hood from, you know. You're so, you're so right about that, you know, that's so true. Everything. Just so the soil is a major part of us. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing we've got from somewhere else. Everything is from this earth. There is nothing else we have here, whether the clothes we wear, the food that we eat, and our lives, our 
forms, everything is from the earth and soil. So, turning this around is a simple process, it's just that it needs a committed and determined approach. Governments are not doing it simply because the democratic processes are always choosing uh, governments for four to five years term. They would like to do things within that span, nobody wants to invest in a long-term engagement, something that will take twenty years of time, they are not interested most of the time. And above all, the... I have spoken to many world leaders and many of them want to do it, but there is no people support. People have not thought long... thought long term. Everybody is thinking of day-to-day uh, -day kind of requirements. So this is an attempt to get about 3.5 billion people to speak. See, in a democratic country, there are two most important things that we have, the vote and the voice of the people. This is the most mm -hmm. important thing. So we want sixty percent of the world's electorate to speak. From March twenty-first, we are asking everybody, people who have any kind of following, to... for one hundred days just to talk about soil. They don't have to support a particular movement, they just have to talk about soil and the significance of soil. So if yeah. this happens, we are... we are preparing a soil document, hundreds of ways in which you can uh, regenerate soil, depending upon the region, the latitudinal position, the economic conditions of a given country and also the cultural, I know, agricultural traditions that may have. Considering all this, there are hundreds of ways where it can be done. So, we are not talking about any one way of doing it. We are not... fundamentally, this is not against anybody, that's the most important thing. This is not yeah. against fertilizer factories, this is not against uh, pesticide, this is not against insecticide, no. It is farmer's prerogative how much of it he wants to use. Using these things is not the problem. Excessive usage is the problem right now. And excessive usage has come simply because of the depletion of soil that's happened. This can be turned around right now. We are, uh, you know, we are writing to all the political parties, over 730 political parties in the world. All of them, we are sending letters which are being hand-delivered. And to all the heads of state, and Caribbean, of course, I'm coming there to personally meet them. <laughs> I can't wait for you to... I can't wait for you to come uh, to visit the Caribbean. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that, you know. Um, yeah. So I'm really looking forward to, to, to hosting you, especially in my hometown, Jamaica. I know you have the other Caribbean to visit as well. You know, but, you know, I definitely want to be there when you arrive in Jamaica, to be honest with you, and meet our, our Prime Minister. So I'm really looking forward to that. So don't miss the ball, man. You got to hit it for a six, huh? Oh, you know what? I'm the six hitter, so I'll never miss. <laughs> <laughs> so I think these Bangladeshi very crafty spinners will give you enough practice before you come back in March. You know what? They're giving me a little bit of trouble here, you know. So I might have to keep a, a, a bit of high opener, you know, for them, you know. But you know, it's their condition. Um, you know, the universe boss will 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 come 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 of age. <laughs> uh, pertaining to something you mentioned about um the soil. You know, um, spreading awareness. You know, we, like a sportsman, we have the platform. You know, social media is, is big and it's huge. Mm. That that four-minute video I watched um, earlier, you know, about the soil. If you can have something like that where everyone can share on their platform, um, you know, yeah. that, that, that would be like a, a great thing to spread around. It will go viral as well, you know, to, uh, to, to spread first, awareness. Uh, from March 1st, the real campaign will begin. Every day we will be re re uh, releasing at least one, most probably oh, okay. three. Three to five short videos will be being released on most of the days for these 100 days. So we will give you access to that and you can post it whichever way you want. Okay, okay, yeah, fair enough, fair enough, yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine with me. So I'm uh, 65, but I'm riding this 30,000 kilometers. You, you're 65? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you're a young man. You're a young man. <laughs> and I see you're riding from the UK to India. Yep. Wow. You know, I never actually ride a bike before. I'm, uh, if, I, if I could, I just join you. I could join you and one other leg. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll sit on the back. Is, is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> you can. When I come to India, the last part we are doing uh, about uh, 14 cities we are doing in India, from Delhi down to Kaveri. So okay. one of those one of those legs, if you want, you can ride with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be nice. Um, that would be nice. Absolutely, I'll look into that and see the dates when you're gonna, you know, you're yes. gonna be doing that. From June fifth onwards, I will be in India. From June fifth to twenty first, I'm riding in India. Okay. When you start? When you start in the one in the UK? 
Uh, this is on 21st of March. Is the, 21st of March. Uh, yeah. Okay. It is the equinox day and it also happens to be the World Forest Day. June 5th, when we reach India, it is the World Environment Day. So we are having an event with the Prime Minister. And it also happens to be 75 years of India's uh, freedom. So okay. I'm also carrying that flag of uh, India 75 with me. <laughs> wow. You're the hero. <laughs> Sad guru is the hero. Yeah, man. Is this is going to be amazing. Man. I'm sure when this is, when this is all um, finished, you know, it's going to be, you know, something eye opener for the, for the world, you know, to see such thing. So that I'm is, really looking forward to that. That is the first thing that we want to change the narrative in the world towards soil. And all these 192 countries, we are uh, giving this soil document, which they can make use of in whichever way they want. And post that for smaller countries like, like Caribbean countries also, we will be setting up a probably 25 to 30 member committee, which will, if they need assistance on how to regenerate soil, we will handhold them with scientific knowledge and everything. We are setting up a body like that. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's brilliant. Brilliant stuff, man. And all the UN agencies are working with us. We are partners with UNCCD, which is the Agency for Combating Desertification, and also UNEP, and also World Food Program. All of them are partnering with us. So, full scientific force is with us. Uh, okay. Um, the, the, the trees you mentioned you're going to be planting, is it only going to be pretty much... Um, in India or it's a, it's, a, it's a global thing? See, this is... Uh, I'm also part of the Trillion Tree Campaign, the World... Uh, I mean, World Economic Forum. But the, what we are doing in Kaveri is important because we want to create a large-scale sample as to how wonderfully it can be done. We've been doing this for over 23, 24 years now. And uh, the way the lives... Farmers' lives have changed. We want to demonstrate this. We will be making a presentation or a documentary about it so that worldwide farmers can take it up, not as saving the world, but as an economic plan, that it is good for them. Uh, because I don't believe in going to a poor farmer and telling him, save the planet, uh, <laughs> when the city people are consuming everything that they're consuming. So the okay. only way is to present it as an economic plan for the well-being of the farmer, which will naturally result in uh, ecological well-being also. Okay, good man. You have it all covered. <laughs> you have it all covered. You have it all covered, man. It's going to be a nice documentary for sure. Absolutely. It's going to be something nice and special. Can I have uh, to something, can yes. I have to something separate yes. from, from, from the soil? Yeah. Anything. Who's your favorite? Which, who's, which team is your favorite IPL team? <laughs> <laughs> of course, the Chennai team. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. I'm, in Tamil, I'm in Tamil Nadu. I have to. <laughs> Defending <laughs> champion Chennai Super Kings, <laughs> MS Dhoni. <laughs> you know, like uh, last time the KKR team was in the finals and uh, they called me and said, Sadhguru, you must bless our team. I said, who is playing against you? They said, Chennai. I said, see, this is one thing I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, yeah, you have to sit that one out to say, sorry, you guys, they're already holding this one. <laughs> China is my team, so there's no way I can send blessings to you, KK. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, yeah, China is, China is the team, and the number one team definitely in the IPL, you know? Mm. Um, yeah, courtesy. Dhoni has made MS. the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. he's so acting he's a, in a movie or something. He's a full-on yeah? acting. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, he's a star, man. Dhoni is a star. So, he's a movie star. Well, I'm sure he, he will pull it up. Whatever he put his hand on. No, no, and, he will and pull it up. And and turn gold. Yes. Yeah, but he's a super. So tell me something now. Chennai Super King, your favorite IPL team. So who's your favorite cricketer now? Who's your favorite player? Right now? <laughs> yes, right no, now. No, right? You mean it's to looking... say current players or all time? All right, current player. But I, I, I would love both answers. Yeah, but I'd love both answers. But I'll, I'll say current and, and overall. Oh, among the current players... Uh... Well, uh, if uh, well, Virat Kohli is there, <laughs> you're taking it. You, you should. You should be like it's Chris Gale. It shouldn't be like looking left and right. It should be Mr. Gale. This guy's right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> 
you <laughs> i don't i don't see you as a cricketer i see you as a uh, you know warrior because warrior uh, because the cricket bat looks so small like a sword in your hand it doesn't look like yeah, a bat yeah <laughs> that's why I used to use the bat, it's called Spartan. We used to use that phrase or that saying, you know, it's a warrior, you know, so I'm a warrior. I say, you're, you're spot on pretty much. <laughs> yeah, you're spot on with what you said. You're spot on with what you said, you know. You know, but overall, you know, I'm sure you have seen, you know, a lot of players. Overall uh, means uh, my all-time yeah, favorite is uh, definitely yeah. Vivian, Vivian Richards. <laughs> yeah, Sir Viv, you know, the, 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 the master, the I master think, blaster. I don't think anybody played like him. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we well loved the uh, legend, legend, legend. He is, he's superb, you know, fantastic. And he's, he's part of India as well, as you know. Yes, you know, <laughs> I know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's part of India as well. So that's good. That's good, man. But mm -hmm. that's a good name. It's a good name to pick. Good name to, to, to actually, yeah, you know, uh, have in a corner as well. Because we watched, uh, you know, today's players. I am not watching them so closely, here and there I see a little bit, I don't have the time to yeah. do that. At that time, those days, Clive Lloyd, Richards, we watched every… every ball, every ball, okay? So… so you, you had a liking for West Indies then? You have a liking for oh, West Indies yeah. team yeah, in the seventies and eighties? Yeah, at that time, Indian team was terrorized by you guys. Uh, oh, yeah. Those, <laughs> those, three, those three W's… Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Around quarrel weeks. Yeah, 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 I remember them. Breaking the well, wickets with the bowling. Breaking the Joel, wickets. Joel Garner, Michael holding those fast yeah. bowlers, you know? Yeah, Andy yeah, Roberts. They were there. Yeah, yeah. They were, we had, we had, that was amazing, man. I guess we owned the game that particular, you know, that, era. Those, you know, within the sport. Uh, those 20 years, I think uh, the Caribbean teams really owned the cricket for sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, man. We have some great, amazing um, legends, you know, within the sport, um, mm -hmm. outside of the West, outside of West Indies as well. So it, it's really good. I think. Well, uh, I'm glad they get it. Now, present uh, teams in the last twenty years, probably the West Indian problem has been that these countries have kind of grown apart. They're not really playing together, probably as a team at home, which is showing off uh, in the international games. I don't know what's yeah. the reality, but I thought so <laughs> looking at them. Because there are great players, but still they don't uh, win because there is no cohesion. That's true. That's true. That's true. You, we, once you're not unified, yeah. um, you know, you're always going to struggle. It doesn't matter, you know, which talent or you have in your team, it's always going to be a problem, you know. So once everyone is not on the same level, it's always going to be difficult to win games. Uh, it doesn't matter how star study your team is, but... You keep it simple, like a team like New Zealand, mm. not so star studded team names, but they yeah. always, in big events, they make it to the, the finals um, of an ICC event. So they're always up there, you know, because they, they have play, something. They play together, they, you know? They yeah, play they play together. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think maybe that's part of their culture as well. So that kind of, you know, show it within their, within their game. So, which, which I always admire, what, what I always admire about them. I really admire that about um, New Zealand from ever since. Mm, yes. Since Stephen Fleming, since Steve, Stephen Fleming was a captain, you know, back then. Yeah. Uh, good thing. I, good the, team. the World Cup, they had such an unfortunate uh, situation, though. I was there for the wow. match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, they had the same unfortunate situation in the UK as well in the 50 years. Yeah. I was yeah. there for that match also. <laughs> yeah. So you've been to the finals then? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. That's good. That's good. That's good, man. Yeah, you know, least still in... I've been so sports oriented at one time when I was young, but last 30 plus years, I had not attended a single sporting event. So in the last yeah. three years, I made up, uh, I did the World Cup football in Moscow. I did the, you know, uh, what is this? Uh, yeah, the World Cup, Cricket World Cup in UK. I did the Wimbledon. I did the uh, US Open. <laughs> and uh, what? Wow. I thing I did. I did the Formula One twice and... <laughs> yeah? Which one of the Formula One you went to? I went to Baku. Baku? Baku? I don't have never been to that one. <laughs> oh, it's a nice place. It's in Azerbaijan. And pra that turned out to be one of the most exciting races where... Uh, 
Louis, Louis Hamilton crashed out on the corner. I was standing right there next to the corner and he overbraked and it just crashed out. <laughs> oh, wow. I went to the last one in Abu Dhabi. That was an amazing, amazing one. Mm. You know, he was leading up until the last lap. No, then, the thing um, is, that... uh, it is almost like for the last five years, it's be become like it's just Mercedes and Mercedes, nobody else can win. But uh, yeah. Baku was exciting because the other teams came up, the Honda teams caught up. <laughs> yeah, it was, I mean, it's good for the sport. You know, yeah. Red Bull win it, Red Bull win it, um, won it Lambda um, last year. So this year is going to be interested again. So it should be something good to watch again. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. But have you ever been to the Caribbean before? This is the first time I'm coming, really. Okay, well. If you, find me, good, you. If you find me a good golf course, I may come every year. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to practice my golf swing. I'm going to practice my golf swing. I, I haven't tried, you know, I haven't tried, I haven't tried golf really and truly. I don't think, no, no, made, I'm, I'm, I don't think they've made a ball for you. <laughs> <laughs> are you a good, are you, are you a good golfer? All right. I play okay. You're pretty decent. <laughs> I play eight, nine, ten in that range. Well, I have a lot of catching up to do. So hopefully one day I'll see you on the golf course. I mean, a lot of cricketers play golf, but I don't play golf. I never really tried it. I'm always sleeping in the morning, <laughs> sleep too much. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll start putting in some practice now, uh, you know, see, see if I can catch up to your standard. <laughs> so that's good. I can beat you on something. I can't beat you in cricket, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to try. We have to try first, you know. You can't say it yet, you know. We never know on the day. Any given day, things can change. <laughs> no, but uh, if you hit a six uh, in golf, it's called out of bounds. <laughs> out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> and that means I have to start over again. <laughs> yes, and then you lose points for that. <laughs> oh wow! No, definitely need to practice then. <laughs> definitely need some practice for that for sure. You know, so. We will. I'll catch you on the golf course as well. So I'm looking yes, forward to that uh, as well. Let's do that, uh, Chris. And uh, all the best for you in Bangladesh. Do well there. And uh, yeah, yeah, you, uh, I appreciate you're, it. You're not all the best. But Chris. I really am truly happy yep. to meet you. Yes, and, wonderful. And, and, meeting and talk you. to you as well. Yes. Uh, yes, it's, it's amazing. We'll catch I'm up really looking Caribbean. forward to. Yeah, <laughs> looking forward to seeing in person for sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thanks for your thanks for your time, and I appreciate it. God bless you, man. Thank you. Thank you very much.